Hello and welcome back to another episode. In this week's episode, we're going to do something a little bit different. Unfortunately, we've finally been struck down by COVID. So right at this very second, I've got COVID, Brooklyn's got COVID and Ronan's got COVID. So we're stuck in isolation and we can't actually go out anywhere. So we thought we'd do something different. Um, getting ready for the trip, we need to install some towing mirrors. So what we're gonna do in this week's episode is just run you through really quick and simple how to install towing mirrors. <laughs> All right, so I'll get straight into it. So the tools that we're gonna need for it, it's pretty simple. So you need a Phillips head screwdriver, uh, two torque bits. Um, so I've got a T30 and a T20 torque bit. I didn't actually have these, so I just ripped down to Bunnings and I think this was like $12. Um, and then also, just to help remove some panels, so I just got a panel removal kit. I just picked this up from Super Cheap. Uh, it's King Chrome, so it was a little bit expensive. I think this was like 35 bucks or something. The first thing we have to do is remove the speaker cover. Literally, it's just two clips, so you can just pull it off. So. Don't pull it too hard though, because the speaker is attached. So you have to just unclip it. You should see here, you got your two clips. You've got your T30 bolts here, or your, sorry, your T30 screws. You've got one, two, three behind this little um, lug here. And then you've also got your power that's going to your mirror there. So just unplug the power, get that out of the way. And then what we want to do is pull uh, this off. Let's grab a little tool, make it a little bit easier. There we go. So you can see that one just pops out. And then you can see in there that you've got your third T30 screw. So I literally just unscrew them. Put the right size bit in. Oh, there's these new kits. They put them in so tight. There we go. I started questioning myself then because it was so tight. <laughs> Lefty Lucy. <laughs> so when they designed this car, it's super inconvenient. The third screw here, you can't quite get to it. Uh, it's really fiddly. So the easiest way to do it is to pull the door trim off. It adds a little bit of extra time, but definitely worth it. I tried to do the other mirror um, by fiddling around and looking, look, trying to get ratchet spinners and that. It just didn't work so I ended up having to pull the door trim off anyway so to do that super simple so you've got two screws down the bottom one screw in behind here and then you've also got to remove this trim here to get to the other screws <clears throat> There you go. So you can see here the clips here, it just clips back in. <clears throat> oh, this is a brand, no, it's not brand new, it's a couple of months old, but this is the 2022 Ford Ranger. So don't be afraid to just jump in and have a crack. You're not gonna break anything. It's all pretty robust stuff. Next, next step is to remove this little panel in behind the door handle, because there's a screw in behind that. This is the hardest part of the job, I reckon. If anyone knows an easier way, let me know. <laughs> Alright, so next we're going to take these two Phillips heads out down the bottom. And there's another Phillips head just in the door, just through here. We'll grab that one. Next we're going to just go around the bottom and just pop this door um, trim off 
So then we'll be able to tilt it so you can get to this final screw. We actually didn't end up taking this cap off behind the door handle. So we're gonna try a slightly different approach. Um, just see if it's a little bit easier. Got it. So this screw here, this is what we were after. So this is the only T20 screw in the whole door. So rip that one out, change your head back over, and then we'll take out this final screw holding the mirror on. That easy, the mirror just pops straight off. Um, we're gonna keep these, so if anything happens to these uh, clear view mirrors in the future, we can always chuck this back on. All right, so I'm just gonna go put this in the shed. All right, swap cameras to the trusty GoPro. So, <laughs> so we've got the mirror off, we're gonna put the clear view mirror on now. So this next step, definitely get someone to give you a hand. You wanna make sure that you get this uh, seal nice and tight so you don't get any water leaking in. So, pass, pass me that. I'll sit this in here. Hopefully that's all right, you can see us there. Chuck that one on. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our T30 bolts. So there's three of them. Sorry, they're not bolts, they're screws. Yeah, you've got your three um, screw holes. They line up. So it's gonna come this way a little bit. I just like to put them in loosely. I don't tighten them up yet until I get them all in. So what I'm doing now is I'm just tight, tightening them all up. With these, um, with these torque bits, you can get them extremely tight. And you do want them tight because you don't want to be driving down the highway and then your mirror falls off. Nobody wants that. All right, so we've got the mirror um, all screwed in now. So what I'm gonna do really quick is plug it in, turn the car on and make sure all the electronics work. I'm gonna do that now because I have the door already off and if there are any mistakes, um, it's gonna be a lot easier to get to the wiring so I can have a look, but fingers crossed it should all work. So I'll just unplug that again um, and put the door back on. So to put the door on, it's the exact opposite of what you did to take it off. Just two Phillips heads down the bottom, two Phillips heads in this door handle here, and then your T20 behind your handle. All right, so screws are back in. I'm gonna put the pin back on, and then speaker back on and we're done. What you gotta do is just line them up and then give it a little hit and those clips will go straight back into place. If any fall off, just click them back in. And then my favorite piece, the door handle it's notched out at the top so you know what way it goes back in
final piece of the puzzle, put the speaker back on, don't forget to plug it in. You can see here, down the bottom, that's the little clip to plug the speaker in. So that's the job done. It was about 30 minutes per mirror, um, plus messing around a little bit. So I'd give yourself an hour and a half to do the job. The mirrors, they came up really nice actually. You pull them out for when you want to be towing, push them back in uh, for normal driving. They're a lot bigger than your standard mirrors that come with the car. So it's going to be interesting to see how many things we hit with them. Uh, the mirrors come in, in three different types. So you've got your compact, the original, and then the, the next gen. Uh, these ones are the original. I think they look pretty good. Other than that, we'll wrap up the video here. Thanks everyone for watching. Give us a like if you like this sort of content um, and we'll see you at the next one.